Good thing I didn't eat breakfast or anything. My stomach's doing flip-flops already. Oh, marriage is a scary deal, huh? I just feel like I'm pressing my luck. You gotta be kidding. Well, I already have the most perfect son in the world. And now I'm marrying a wonderful man. It's not even raining and my hair's doing great. <laughs> How much longer can this go on? Forever. What have you done? It's not a diamond tiara or anything. Oh, I don't so need anything. Don't get too excited. <laughs> Two Terrence is for Mommy. I owe you. Father's Day, 1982. Yeah, father-son variety night at the Roosevelt School. The whole third grade contingent of Daddy showed up from married ones, separated ones, divorced ones, even ones living in Timbuk, too. <laughs> All except yours. Yeah. Remember you put your... You stuffed your hair under a baseball cap and sang you gotta have heart for the spring training skit. Remember that? <laughs> all my friends thought you were so cool. But boy. you cried all the way home. Yeah, mommy, why am I the only one without a father? As if you could sum that up in 25 words or less. I was a wreck when you asked me that question. I'm sorry, I handled it very badly. Mom, you handled it great. To my darling son, I owe you a way to understand why it's just you and me. In a little while, I'll find the right words to tell you. I'm sorry I never made good on that promise. Mom, um, you did one better. You got me to the place where I just felt good about it just being us. You are so special. I have to be. You could raise me. I love you. I love you so much. Hey, no crying. <laughs> besides, I hit the father jackpot now. Now I got a dad and a stepdad. And right here in the same town. <laughs> I see we haven't missed very much. You're still standing around twiddling your thumb. <laughs> Any minute now. Well, that's what you think. Bribes take eons to get ready. Oh. Hey, thanks for including us, Tom. I appreciate it. I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Hey, there he is. <laughs> Time to march down that aisle, Cuddy. <laughs> Let's go. We have come together in the presence of God to bless the joining of Thomas and Livia in holy matrimony. I've got it. The union of husband and wife in heart, mind, and body is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity, and when it is God's will for the procreation of children and their nurture in the love of God. 
Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into lightly or unadvisedly, but reverently, deliberately, and with the purpose in which it was instituted by God. Into this holy union, Thomas and Livia have now come to be joined. If any of you can show cause why they may not lawfully be married, speak now or forever hold your peace. Livia, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him for as long as you both shall live? I will. Thomas, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others be faithful to her for as long as you both shall live i will who gives this woman to be married to this man i do let us pray O oh, gracious and everlasting god you have created us male and female in your image look mercifully upon this man and this woman who come to you seeking your blessing and assist them with your grace. May I have the rings, please? Bless, O oh God, these rings as a symbol of the vows by which Thomas and Livia have bound themselves to each other. In Jesus' name, amen. Thomas give you this ring as a symbol of my vow give you this ring as a symbol of my vow and in all that I am and all that I have and in all that I am and all that I have I honor you I honor you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit Give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. Give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. And in all that I am and all that I have. And in all that I am and all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Now that Thomas and Livia have given themselves to each other by solemn vows and by the giving and receiving of rings, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. Thank <laughs> you.